Hello and welcome. Today we will be going over five simple tips for naval action beginners. Naval action has been in the early access stage for a number of years and is set to release the week of June 10th, 2019, which has the community very excited. Starting the week of June 10th, all early access content on the war server will be wiped from the game, excluding character names and character clan affiliations. So whether you're a veteran who has been in the game for years testing things out, or you're a new player discovering the game for the first time, everyone will be starting from the beginning. This video will highlight five simple tips for players to get their characters and their navy up and running after the game is launched. So here we go. Starting off, everyone should play the tutorial all the way through to the final exam. Not only will this give new players experience handling ship-to-ship -ship combat, but the completion of the tutorial will reward each player with over a thousand repairs for their ships, as well as experience points to rank your character up and crew larger vessels. The tutorial can be difficult at times, but if you complete it right away, you'll be able to sail larger vessels faster than if you were to just grind out the character rank in the open world. One thing I can tell you regarding naval action combat is to always, always, always have a wind advantage. So many new players don't think about this, but the wind and your ship's response to it can have a very important impact on your battle. Each ship has different sailing characteristics, so it's important to use the wind to your advantage in every battle. If you're facing a square-rigged ship that is best sailing with the wind, you will want to start the battle downwind from them, so that the only way for them to escape is to sail towards you. The opposite is true for ships that are faster upwind, such as ships like the Drinkham. The next tip is to spend some time interacting with each window in your port because there are a lot of moving parts in this game. I'm going to highlight a few things about the port window interface as each individual window could have an entire video explaining its various uses. When you're docked, you can see many buttons or window icons around the screen. On the top, you can see the name of the port you're currently in, some general information regarding the port, the button to access the tutorials, your rank and different forms of currency, view of reels, which is the generic currency that is used to purchase most things, such as supplies from the shop and ships that are placed on sale. Then you have doubloons, which are harder to come by and are used for more high-end purchases. Up top, you've also got the leaderboards, your upgrades chest and redeemables, different flags you have available, and your character perks. On the bottom you have access to the tavern, which is the game chat, your navy, which shows all available ships you own, and your warehouse, where you can find your gear, consumables, and resources that you have at that individual port. You also have access to a shop to buy everything you need from cannons, repairs, resources, and knowledge books, as well as the ship auction, where you can buy and sell different vessels. Then you have the admiralty store, buildings and crafting, and the port quest button. Pay attention to this because I'll come back to that one later. You also have your outpost window, which shows all of the cities that you've placed an outpost in and are able to fast travel to. Now teleporting or fast traveling does cost a balloon, so be sure to always be on the lookout for them as this is just one instance where they come in handy. And last but not least, you have the port management button. This allows you to invest materials and the various upgrades for that individual port that everyone can benefit from. Honestly, there could be an entire video on each one of these interfaces, but in the interest of time, let's move on. After you've completed the tutorial, you should have a fair grasp of how the ship combat system works in the game. Take some time to hunt down an AI trader in the open world to capture. A great one that doesn't require that many crew members and is usually fast is a trader brig. Work down its sails and crew, then board and capture the ship to add it to your navy. You can then use it to complete economy missions under the port quest tab. This is the one that I showed you on the last tip. Be sure to look for a mission that rewards you both reels and doubloons to make the long trade voyage worth your time. Experiment with these missions, as well as buying and selling trade goods between different ports to get a handle on the commerce of naval action. Tip 4 is to use the trader tool in your map. This will assist you with the previous tip regarding economy missions and making money. Through this trader tool, you can see what ports are buying and selling trade goods at profitable rates. 
as an example, you can see that San Augustine is selling Sevilla muskets for about 11.5k, and Charleston is buying them for about 57.5k. That's a pretty simple and profitable trade route when you're just starting out. Run the trader's brig you capture between those two ports, buying and selling Sevilla muskets and other items you find along the way, and you'll soon have a nice pocket of change. This is probably one of the most important tips regarding starting out naval action on the war server, and that is to participate in PvP and RVR and to not be afraid to lose your ship in the process. You won't get better at fighting other players until you spend time losing to other players. What's important is that you learn from your mistakes and you get back into the fight. Every hardcore PvPer you run across at one point in time was just as clueless as you. The only difference is their experience level and their attention to detail. Joining a clan is one way that you can learn how to PvP and fight in port battles because there are many experienced players out there willing to teach others. Spend some time getting to know the people in your selected nation so that you know who you work well and enjoy sailing with. This game has progressively gotten more team or clan based in its mechanics regarding port battles and the availability of resources in general. There are still viable options for those who want to be solo captains, but those individuals will probably need to spend more time grinding things out and may not be able to participate in port battles for their nation. I hope you enjoyed these five simple, quick tips for naval action beginners. The most important tip I can give you, of course, is to have fun. Thanks for watching.